Hey guys, it's me, J number three here, and today I'm going to talk about running analog engines on DCC track. So, first off, um, you can run analog with DCC, at least with the Zephyr. Um, just, there's a few things why I wouldn't suggest doing it. And I would suggest that you would uh, convert all the engines that you plan to run on your DCC track once you buy a DCC controller. How do you convert all your engines that you're going to run to DCC? Or else there's going to be a lot of faults with the analog engines. First off, you can't run DCC engines with analog engines on the track because it'll screw up the decoders, basically. <laughs> um, and it's not good for the engines. Okay, first off, let's just plug it in. You're about to discover why uh, analog engines aren't the best. So, on the uh, Zephyr, I'm just going to show you. The analog control is 0, 0. Okay. And let's see how this does. I'm going to put power to the track. Now, you hear that noise. It's singing. Now you might think that's weird that it's going at that speed because I only have it on 10%. That is kind of weird. And the reasoning is because it doesn't have a... so I'm going to turn that off, it's annoying me. Uh, because it can only go like... like it has set speeds basically. 10% is the fastest it can go, and that's basically 50% if you're running it with a decoder. So, it only goes half the speed, basically, that it can go. And there's that really annoying singing sound. So unless you could put up with that, um, I wouldn't be running analog on your GCC controller. Anyways, that's analog on DCC. It works. It just doesn't function fully. Anyways, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.